Hey, what's up, y'all? What's poppin'? It's Dee. Brought you back to this video by Nina. This is Lily Singh being unfunny for three minutes straight. So, I came across this video of um, <laughs> Love Love Serve, and they were reacting to Lily Singh's uh, late night show, and I was really taken aback by how terrible <laughs> the show was. Like, I never even thought to look it up or to watch it. I have reacted to Lily in the past and I thought she was very um, cookie cutter Disney like, you know, for kids. So I just felt like, okay, she's not catering to my demographics. So I'm not gonna judge her uh, comedic abilities <laughs> uh, too harshly. And sometimes she says some things where it was like, oh, haha, -ha. you know, I thought they were kind of funny. But overall, I did think she was pretty corny. But again, I felt like, okay, she's for kids. So, you know, that's fine. But now she has a late night show. So it's like, um, sis, those are those same jokes. They ain't gonna work. And it seemed like she was trying to, you know, still keep that level of comedy um, that she had on YouTube with her late night show. And it was just like, mm, nah. Actually, I feel like it was a bit worse. Um, from the love live sir video that I watch but you know now I'm gonna react to this one so this is uh, a video that has clips from her late night show uh, maybe they're a bit better obviously they're not because it says she's been unfunny for three minutes straight but I'm very curious and I, I kind of I want to see more I'm a bit intrigued at um you know her comedy on this show like is is crazy it's really really bad anyway let's see um maybe these jokes aren't as bad as the ones that love love serve was showing so let, let's just watch my name is lily and i ain't a white man please note that we're not gonna fly man. through the bermuda triangle because things mysteriously disappear there in fact that's probably where your that education video. went i feel like it makes up for my bad personality you know, like when I cut someone in line at a club, first people are mad, but then I'm just like. <laughs> and that's what I saw on Love Little <laughs> And then they're like, oh, her hair is so shiny, let her go. By the looks of it, a lot of you are happy to be here too. It's, it's mostly the brown people because this was free to attend. <laughs> that one girl that's always crying on the floor. Straight up, I don't know how she gets there, but without fail, she's always there. Honestly, I feel like she just came with the club. Sometimes white people try to make things right and they come up to me and they apologize for everything they did to the Indians. India is all the way over here across the doing? ocean so unfortunately you won't be able to drive your trailer there. <laughs> if you're gonna be racist at least do it right. Holy crap. Nice nice puppy what is happening? <laughs> Writers seem to be many options because daniel knows better than to hook up with some rich white lady <laughs> let me know let me know if your friend let me know if your friend needs any help lily did you eat today <laughs> no mom just withering away from starvation amigos yeah white people are gonna skirt all the way to another channel to watch Doug dynasty oh there boogies about us nope subscribe like instead of eating french fries all the time I'd have a couple sweet potato fries, too. <laughs> I have so much hair that braiding it requires blueprints. Oh, crap. I swung the pendulum too far. I hate when that happens. Now that we're here, the good news is your wife can save all that money she spends at tanning salons trying to look closer to my complexion. I always thought I'd be famous and my oh, stock God. would be like a hot guy that just needed some guidance, okay? But instead, my phone is spying on me. <laughs> and as a woman, I'm especially stoked to join this group of people. Fine, you get one. Can't spell me too without me. Stop. Noted. It's probably been years since you've had the chance to use your passport, just like your penis. I can't believe this is a show. It would have been perfectly fine on YouTube or anything that isn't TV. I remember my parents always saying, you can get a dog when you get married. And my only thought to that was, why would I want two dogs? <laughs> Any Indian people here? <laughs> I mean, the loudest people. <laughs> and without AI, we wouldn't have spell check. Can you imagine what our text conversations would look like? <laughs> it would be a duckin' nightmare. Okay, maybe this one is funnier. Let's see. Now, when you're watching this, 
this, it's 1.35 in the morning. So tonight I want to talk about alcohol, since most of you at home are drunk anyways. <laughs> By the way, how's that going? Do you have the spins? Here, I'll spin in circles with you so you don't get dizzy. People start drinking way earlier than when it's legal. In America, the age is 12. You're already laughing. Where are your parents? In America, that age is 21. But in Canada, it's 19. But I was well into my 20s before Party Lily came out. Which means when all my friends were done with their party phases, I was overcompensating for all the drinking I missed out on. Straight up, I'd show up to their adult dinner parties just like, yo, Wake your baby up. We have uneven teams to flip cup. <laughs> Wake him up. Let's go. <laughs> my parents had an interesting policy when it came to drinking. When I was living at home, Good. my dad caught my friend and me pre-gaming with shots of vodka in his basement one time. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> at first, I thought he was so mad because he came in and yelled and said, Lily, what you doing, huh? <laughs> and, but then he was like, get this, but then he was like, take a flask. <laughs> This is uh this is pretty bad. This is just it's it's not funny. Again, I never thought she was funny though, if we, if we keep it at a thousand. Um I never was a big fan of her or Liza. Um that's why I stopped reacting to them honestly, because I didn't wanna talk shit because I'm just like, you know, they're not for me. Their comedy isn't for me, so you know, I'm not gonna really I'm not gonna keep watching them just to be like, Oh, they're not funny, they're not funny over and over again. Um but the fact that she's on late night TV is just like, you got these jokes on late night TV? The, the kids is asleep. So you trying to give these jokes to adults is wild. Like that, that's crazy that they gave her a show with these jokes. I'm, I'm very confused. I don't know how long this show is gonna last, but it's pretty bad, it's pretty bad. I'm really taken aback though. I would think that you know, as big of a YouTube star as she is, that she would have better writers. So this is um, this is a bit confusing. It's just like, why would it be this corny and bad? She's not on the Disney Channel. She's not on Nickelodeon. She's on late night TV, and she said one o'clock in the morning. So she comes on late, late. And and this is the comedy you serving, girl. But. This was terrible. It was it was really bad. I tried to go into it with an open mind. Like, you know, maybe some things will be funny. I did laugh at, you know, a couple of her sexist jokes. <laughs> um, and uh, looking at the comments and shit, I've seen people make comments like, oh, she's racist and she's being sexist. It's like, shut up. Like, it, she just ain't funny. Let's be clear. Because if y'all could laugh at Bill Burr and these other niggas who be talking about, you know, these bitches do da 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 and women are this and women are that. I don't wanna hear none of y'all talking about about her being sexist or racist. Like, shut up. Like, I, I don't think that's a factor at all. She's just not funny. It's not that, oh, her jokes are so offensive and she's being rude or it's just, she's just not funny. But y'all let me know what y'all think though. Y'all let me know what other videos you want me to react to and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.